Welcome to SWK's video series on Sage 100. This video is going to demonstrate the auto check reconciliation feature. To start, let's look at the bank code where we're going to import the file for the cleared checks. Look down over at near the bottom of the list and we'll see that there are four checks dated 6-1. The file that I'm using as my source has those four checks and when I run the um, auto check reconciliation it's going to show those checks as being cleared and the cleared date. Let's launch our auto check reconciliation and give it a try. I'm going to proceed and it, I've already set it up which we'll go over later the um, indicating the file and let's preview it and see what the report gives us. It's saying there's no rejection, so now we're ready to go. I'll proceed. And if I come back to Reconcile Bank, we're going to see that those four checks have been cleared with the cleared date. Now, where did it find that information? This is the file, a, a picture of the Excel file that I had set up. It's a CSV file. Here's my check numbers, my check amounts, my bank account number, uh, then the uh, check date, and the clear date. Column F is not a requirement, but I left it in my file to make it easier for me to identify the checks. So now that we know what the results are, let's look at how this is set up. I'm just going to run through the wizard just to give you an idea of how easy this really is to set up. I gave the setting a name and then a description. I chose common delimited as my format, but it could be standard fixed fee format. I'm sorry, fixed format. This is, would be something that your bank would tell you which format you need to use. I can indicate if my file is going to have a header record. And then here are the fields and the columns that um, are selected. You see that my check number is the, the first, the amount, the account number, check date, and clear date. I have several date formats, so whatever your bank is going to supply, we should be able to have the proper format for you. Also, sometimes banks don't put decimal points in the amounts features of their checks. If that were if that is true, you would have to indicate that it was an implied decimal. With the file that I had set up, I was putting the decimal point in as needed. So therefore mine is blank. Let's come here. This is where I set up the path for the uh, file, and this happens to be the file name that I'm going to use. You can use the same file name over and over, or if you choose, at the time that you run the auto check reconciliation, you can select the file to import. Here again is one more option and this is when I am done with the import that I can change the file extension from old so that I won't use it again. And then here it's showing that I'm done and I can launch the reconciliation feature at this point. Give this a try. I think this is a very handy new feature, uh, newer feature of Sage 100, easy to set up. Um, I chose to uh, set this up from a uh, an Excel file because uh, this is a sample test company. Um, however, for you, you'll want to work with your bank to see what the file format is. Let us know if you need help. We're happy to help with setting that up, but I think you'll like this feature. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. Thank you for watching.